South Korean President Park Geun-hye officially impeached. And now the country has 60 days to elect a new leader as mandated by the nation's constitution. A presidential election must be held, but if election season is too short, it won't accurately reflect the people's ideas. If it's too long, problems will arise with a prolonged vacancy in the presidential office. Recent polls show former presidential candidate Moon Jae-in with a comfortable lead. Moon is a liberal who actually lost the election to President Park in 2012. But now he's back, looking to run on a platform of reform. Others looking to represent the liberal ticket include progressive up-and-comer An Hee Jung, social media savvy Lee Jae Myung, and software entrepreneur An Chol Su. It's true, circumstances are very beneficial to Moon Jae-in's camp at the moment. Other candidates shouldn't focus on the need to win, rather they must focus on presenting ways to make the country better. On the other end of the political spectrum, conservatives had hoped for a boost from former UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon. But with Ban pulling out of contention, current Prime Minister and the country's acting president Hwang kyo wan is emerging as a potential favorite to represent the right. A new splinter party made up of anti Park Geun-hye lawmakers from the ruling Conservative Party looks to make an impact during the campaign season. Conservatives must find the right way forward. There needs to be deep discussion and reflection about what true conservative values are. That way they can smoothly operate their political activities. Whoever's elected, the next president has a responsibility of uniting a country divided and in need of someone to tackle pressing issues like diplomacy, the economy, and other social issues. But just as important, the next president will have the difficult task of earning back the people's trust and restoring dignity back to the office of the president. Shane Hom, CGTN, Seoul.